Hello and welcome back to weekly classes, quarter two, week two, today's day two. We're going to continue working towards our wall ball. Um, the goal for today is to actually create a normal map out of the material we created yesterday. So if you don't have yesterday's material, you can download it from the normal spot. The uh, link is in the uh, notes underneath the, the video. So yesterday, just to recap, day one, we took this image over here and then we cropped it using the perspective crop tool and we adjusted a little bit of lens problems and then we actually uh, used the offset filter and offset it by half the pictures width and height so the width and height was 1024 by 1024 so we offset it by 512 by 512 uh, then we used the healing brush to brush the edges out and make sure that our seams in the center were perfectly aligned or at least relatively perfectly aligned and then uh, we checked for hot spots and then um, we finalized the whole thing today is day two uh, it's why can't you be normal so we're going to start out with this image that we start out with yesterday or that we, that we ended it with yesterday we're going to convert it to black and white and then we're going to do a little more work on it to make sure that the normal map comes out looking just the way we want it to. All right. We're going to talk about some of the settings and, and all the other things that you'll need to do to make sure that you can use your normal map in 3D Studio and ultimately in the Unreal Engine. So today we are going to download and install the NVIDIA plugin for Photoshop. We are going to bring in the diffuse map, which we already have. Then we're going to um, activate a black and white filter on it, then we're going to adjust the contrast and curves, and then we're going to invert it for the depth settings that we want, and then we are going to use the NVIDIA Tools normal map filter on it, and then we're going to, that's going to be basically it. We're also going to talk a little bit about normal maps so that you have a better understanding about how, of how they work and what they can do. All right, so let's, first things first, let's download the file. So in order to do this at home, you'll need to make sure you have the NVIDIA normal map filter, which we can get on the internet. All you have to do is type in NVIDIA CS6 or NVIDIA Photoshop plugin. Photoshop plugin, that's what I meant. Um, and you'll see these two. Uh, the top is NVIDIA texture tools for Adobe Photoshop. We click on that and it takes us to uh, HTTPS developer nvidia.com slash nvidia texture tools Adobe Photoshop and those all have hyphens in between it and you get to this so what we're looking for is this right here this downloads this is uh, CS6 so we come to this section here download center and we are going to go ahead and do the download or texture tools for the uh, Adobe Photoshop there's a whole bunch of other stuff you can download, but we're not worried about that. We're just going to get our uh, version. The, in this case, it's 8.55, and it's been the same for a while. So I have a 64-bit machine. I download this, and there it goes. It's 17 megs. When it's done, this is actually uh, installer, so it'll automatically install for me, and then it'll ask me to restart. So I can click that or run it. It will try and install. It's going to say, hey, you've already got it because I already do. But you don't. All you have to do is click OK, and then uh, you should be OK. I'm going to click Cancel. So now you should have the, in the plugin installed. If you uh, need to stop the video, make sure you restart. You can pick it up right when you're done. So we're going to go into Photoshop. So now this is where we left off on day one. We have our video or our uh, offset fixed. We have the original one with the actual edges that we fixed out with a brush tool with the healing brush. And you can see those fixes are right there. They look pretty good. Look pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Save. Nope. 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 I already saved it. File. Uh, save as. I went ahead and saved it as day one. So I'm going to call it day one finished all right cool Oops. okay cool that's what I'm calling this you can call whatever you want I'll save this in the file so you have this to start with all right uh, in the uh, folder that I keep all the videos so 
there you go. You will have access to where we are right now, even though it doesn't really matter. If you want to just import in your offset fixed file that you saved out, that's fine too. We're not actually going to use any of these other layers. I'm going to hide them and leave them there anyway. So let's get moving. So the first thing we need to do is turn this into a black and white image because normal maps are created using black and white images. Um, and with this filter, uh, the filter is up here under filters all the way at the bottom NVIDIA NVIDIA tools normal map filter now if we do that now it'll kind of work but it won't work really well um, so we're not going to actually use it yet so I'm going to cancel that out what we need to do is convert this to black and white because what it basically says is black is going to be low and white is going to be high now the way normal maps work is it is a trick of the light it basically is telling the computer that wherever light is hitting this, it's going to increase how glossy it is on a specific side as though the, the light is being reflected in a specific way. You've probably seen normal maps before. They look something like this. Uh, this is the normal map that I created earlier as an example. Okay, White is usually set so that it sticks out, and black is usually set so that it insets. Um, everything else in here is a gray color. The actual image before I converted it to a normal map looked like this. So I've got a 50% white and black uh, color, like a 50 gray here, and then I've got 100% white and then 100 or 0% black. Um, and then I went ahead and made some other shapes just so I could see them and see how they looked. And when I did that, I can minimize this and this and I can pull up the video that I built with that. So this is a simple cube. It's got six edges or uh, six tries in it or yeah, no, 12 tries. <laughs> so six polygons because it's a cube. You can see though that the text in particular, you can really tell, especially when it's over here, that this black section is actually inset into this block. The white section sticks out and it's pretty obvious. Um, now if we were to do this in 3D with by actually insetting these images, it would be thousands and thousands of tries. But in this case we only have 12 because the normal map is doing all the work for us. So normal maps can do subtle lower um, subtle adjustments in geometry. Um, normal maps are great for like skin textures and things like scales on a fish or anything small and bumpy scars on somebody's face wrinkles in somebody's face or you know and and folds of clothing so that's really where normal maps tend to shine um, and that's what we're going to use them for generally now back to our brick wall here we want to make this so that the bricks stick out and that the grout itself is recessed a bit. Okay, so in order to do that, the first thing we need to do is I'm going to duplicate my layer here. So I've got a new one. So let's call this normal source. Normal, normal source. Oops, Norma. Sounds like my grandma. All right, normal source. All right, great. So normal source, and we're going to take this layer. I'm going to hide the others. I'm just going to take this normal source layer and I'm going to start adjusting it. The first thing I'm going to do is turn it into a black and white. Now there's the black and white adjustment right here. All right, right here is the black and white adjustment tool. I'm going to click on that and actually I found the auto works pretty well. Uh, sometimes it's good to adjust but if I'm adjusting anything what I'm trying to do is make it a little more contrasty. Okay, what I want is I want the bricks to stick out and be darker gray. I want the bricks to be more darker, and I want the whites uh, of the uh, grout to be lighter. So I want more contrast. So I could adjust this and see what I get. I, that starts to look pretty. Once again, the green doesn't seem to be doing much. This, I can make the whites of the grout a little brighter. I think. The grout also will come a little gray. The blue there. I think that's pretty good. I'm just trying to lean into what's already there. I'm trying to make the whole image more contrasty. So that's great. So I'm going to right click on this and merge down. 
So now I've got my I've got my actual color layers, my original offset fixed. I've got my normal sources now black and white. Now I'm going to take that and actually adjust it some more using the curves adjustment. The curves adjustment is really cool because it really allows you to get in and sort of focus on getting much more of a black and white gradient here so it sort of sticks out a little more. Now we don't want pure black and white because that would be really uh, drastic. We do want some some smoothness so let's go ahead and once you've got that distinction set pretty well you can go ahead and click on this again we're going to merge down so we we've our our goal here was to try and make this sort of pretty drastic we could have and now the final thing is going to brightness contrast and then sort of maybe smooth it out a little bit so there and just a little bit That would be a little too much. I think that works pretty well. That looks okay. I'm going to take that and uh, merge that down as well. Alright, so now I've got my normal source set up. Um, now we were talking, the white means it's set out. So it comes towards the viewer. And black is set in. So right now if we if we build the normal map off of this, our grout's going to stick out and our bricks are look, going to look like they're sunk into the grout. And that's the opposite of what we want. So the final thing we're going to do here is invert this entire image. So I'm going to go up here to invert, which is right here. Invert, I'm going to click it, and it does its job. It's basically going to invert the image so that the black is going to be really black. Or the white is going to turn black and the black is going to turn white. What that will give us is a dark lines will be inset, and that's what we want. All right. All right. So once again, I'm going to merge that down. All right. Cool, cool. So now I've got dark lines where it's going to be inset, and pretty much white where it's not. Uh, if you wanted to come in here and adjust your brightness again um, to make it a little more gray, that could make sense like that. Maybe a little more contrast, but still make the whole thing kind of gray. That could work. All right, great. Cool, cool, cool. Now, I'll merge that down. Great. So now what I'm going to do, that I've got a nice dark lines with white bricks, is I'm going to actually apply the normal map filter to this normal source. So I'm going to click on Filter, NVIDIA Tools, Normal Map Filter. Now, it's going to instantly give you options, tons and tons of options. Um, what I like to do is set, starting from the left and going down each column individually, add height to normal map is set, and it's, I usually leave that settings the way it is. I don't, I don't mess any of these settings over here. The next thing, you've got different samples. The higher the sample, the more blurry it gets. Okay? I usually leave it on four or possibly three by three. I think today I'm going to go three by three. Um, I also use wrap even though I'm not quite sure what that does. I haven't seen the dis difference between the two. The next part's actually pretty important. The minimum Z. So right now I think the default is set to five. The higher the number, the more drastic the normal map is. Um, I found ten is a good number to start with uh, and you can adjust it as you go with a 3D preview which we'll look at in a second um, and we'll I'll sort of show you the difference here in a second between that next we're gonna this is uh, the 3D view option so you have a 3D preview here you can add a texture so you can look at it uh, and and see all these different things you can brighten it or use decal texture if you add one uh, and add filters and stuff like that I don't actually know what the alpha blending does um, but I usually just leave the animate light on and move on. Under height source, we have alpha channel and average RGB. I found that average RGB is a much better uh, layer, a much better choice, because that averages all the different red, green, and blue colors on this, uh, and that, to me, seems to work out relatively well. Okay? You could also try convert the, uh, convert the height doesn't seem to work. Um, but average RGB looks well. Now for alpha field, you could choose height, 
set to zero zero or set to one. Um, the alpha field for us is not being used in in this section, so the way it's set up right now, it's sort of just used as the layer that. Uh, so I just set it to unchanged or leave it to one, and that seems to be best. All right. So we're going to click OK, and now you're going to see we have a normal map, and it's very, very busy and very, very, uh, uh, I don't know, noisy. Okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this, and we're going to blur it just a little bit. So I'm going to take this because it's really, 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 like, noisy. So we're, if we blur it a little bit, that'll smooth things out. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Filter, Blur. Uh, we're going to do a Gaussian Blur. And we're just going to blur it by, let's say, 0.5. How's that look? Eh, maybe 1.5. Yeah, that's all right. OK. All right. Now we can actually take that normal source under filter, video tools, normal filter, and normalize only. And that tends to help out to make sure that there's no uh, colors that aren't, aren't the right, what, what it's going to want. So that should blur out and blend through some of the bricks color that we want. All right. So that's basically it. We've created a normal map using our original texture. So if we have our offset fixed and we deselect the normal map, you can see the difference here. It's a significant difference. All right, so now that you have your normal map, let's go ahead and export that out. So normal source, we're going to File, Save for Web. 1024 by 1024 is fine. All of this information is going to be fine as well. Hit Save. And then I'm going to call this uh, normal. So 1024 wall. Well, let's call it normal. There. Ugh, I always do that. Normal. All right, great. Save that out. And there you go. So now we're ready uh, to save this in, and use this in 3D Studio, which we'll do in the next day. So for now, uh, you can play around with some of the normal options, and then we'll see you tomorrow. All right. Thanks for watching.